Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part and in this particular video we are going to solve one of the coding question which was recently asked in one of the interview. So let's understand the question first. So our question is like they have given one list. You can see this is the list. Here we have a value 1, 3, 4, 0, 0, 6 and 7 and what is our ask is like we had to move whatever the 0 is right. We had to move 0 to the end of the list. So you can see 1, 3, 4, then 6 and then 7 and whatever the 0 is coming right and that move to the last. This 0 moves to the last. So for this you had to write a code. So how actually we can uh, solve this question. So there are different ways to solve this same question. I am showing you one of the way. So let me share my screen and let's try to solve this. So now let's try to solve it. So we have given one list. So let me create one list. List is 1, 3, 4. We have a 0, we have a 0, then we have a 6, then we have a 7. This is the list is given. Now what we had to do, we had to move this 0 into at the last. We had to move this 0 at the last, that is our requirement. So what actually I will do? First, I will try to create one list that will contain only the non-zero element of the list. So I will create one list that will contain only the non-zero element of the particular list. So I will create one more list. I will use a non-zero, non-zero list. This is the new list I am going to create. I will use a list comprehension. So I will try to loop is for i in list. I am what I am doing for i in list. I am doing. I am checking if i is not equal to the zero. If i is not equal to the zero, then what I will do? I'll create a list. I'll create a list. So what actually I am doing? I am creating one new list. I am looping whole the element. If the element is not 0, that value only I am storing into this non-zero list. Now if I will show you non-zero list, you can see only the non-zero element it contain this particular list. Now what I will do after this, I will try to count how many times of 0 is present. How many times of 0 is present. So I will try to count the 0. So for that what actually I will use? If I will use the length of list, this is the original list, right? What is the total length of list? You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The total length of list is 7, right? 7. Now, what I will do? I will do a minus and with length of what is the non zero list element? How many values are present in the non zero list? You can see 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, right? 5. So, I, what I will get? I will get 2, right? 7 minus 5, 2 means we have a 2 zero is present. Now if I add one more zero, now here what will happen? If I will print a zero count, you can see we are getting a three zero. So wh whatever the total element is present in the original list, I am just doing a minus with the non-zero element list. I am getting the how many times of zero count is present. Now we got a non-zero list and we got a zero count. Now what I will do? I will just try to sum it. So if I will do non-zero list, whatever the non-zero list is there and uh, we have a 3 zero right. So I will use a zero multiply with a zero count. How many times of zero count is there? If I will do this, now if I will execute, you can see whatever the zero is present right that got moved at the last. Suppose let me add one more zero here. Now if I will execute, you can see. 4 0 got move at the last. So like that actually we can solve this question. There are different ways of solving the same question but this is one of the way. I am expecting you to solve uh, this with another approach and uh, post your question, post your answer and if we we'll talk about what is the time complexity here and the time complexity is on, on and uh, space complexity also is a on in this approach.